Hey folks, it's Mark, your buddy, the Suburban Hippie Experimentalist, and what have I been doing? Well, not a lot of anything. I actually tweaked my neck and back pretty bad about eight or nine days ago. So what did I do to my back and neck? Absolutely nothing. I went to bed. And uh, when I went to bed that night, I was a highly function functioning individual. And when I got up, I was moving around like a crusty, crotchety old man. And my neck and back were extremely stiff with stabbing pain in my back. In the meantime, I've been sent scanners to test from various Chinese companies. So I've got three scanners I'm going to talk about, not in depth, but just go over a little bit. So I've got um, the Top Don scanner. This is called, let's see what this is called, something plus. It is called the OBD Can Plus. And with that particular company, um, which is a pretty good company, I'm working with them a little bit. They are sending me new firmware for this product. I test it out and I give them my impressions. The first time I tested this product, um, it worked. Everything worked good as far as it's supposed to, but um, the text was a little wonky. The decimal places were a little off. The text looked a little strange. I gave them some feedback. They've changed that. It's much better now. Um, I still think they have a little bit of work to do on the uh, placement of the menu items. But it, it all works and it tells you, you know if you have a like a it has a misfire counter on it or it looks at the misfire counter on your car so that it's mode six, looks at all your smog information. Works pretty good. Um, the system has crashed a couple times, but they're still working on the code. So you likely if you have one of these, you probably have one of these with the code on it. And it does work fine, you'll just occasionally lose your connection. Now I've got another one I was sent, and I just did a review on this on Amazon today. This is called the Launch 6001 um, C Reader, and this is made by Launch Direct, which supposedly is the parent company to Launch Tech USA. Launch Tech USA is supposed to be their USA distributor. Now I can tell you the Launch Tech or the Launch Readers that most people are used to are a little different than this. Now. This is an excellent reader. Um, the company that I'm dealing with on that, or that particular branch of that company, um, it's extremely professional. Um, for example, when I ordered it on Amazon, they tracked my shipment. They sent me a document the night before telling me what to do. You have to register the device when you get it, and then you have to update it to make sure you have the latest firmware in it. And that went off without a hitch. And uh, so this does mode six and all those things too. This worked very well. I'm very impressed by the professionalism of this company. Now, um, the third one I want to talk about is the blue driver. Now, as this is right now, all three of these pretty much do the same thing. They all read the same mode six information. With this, use the blue driver. Sorry, painful back. You use the blue driver and then you use your smartphone as a uh, there's an app you download on your smartphone sorry my back's a little stiff but the reason I got this even though I had the other two to look at is because in seven to ten days they told me that they're gonna come out with these advanced functions to read all, all the sensors on my on my truck for example I want to read the ABS sensors I want to look for trouble codes there as I've been having that um, BDC error that I've talked about previously. So this, they're just coming out with new Nissan um, code that will let you look at like your transmission codes, your ABS codes, and things like that. So that's why I got this. Now this, this, this scanner here is a little bit more expensive than these two, but if I can get my advanced data off of this, it's going to be well worth it. Now this is also made or designed by American engineers, and you're dealing with an American company which I feel is a plus. There's no uh, communication errors between you and the company. So I'm looking forward to getting my advanced data off of this. But I just, I just want to go over that a little bit because frankly I have nothing else to do. Um, now my mechanic friend's going to try this out. I'll probably come back and update that a little bit, but I, I don't ex anticipate any change. But I think overall the blue driver is going to be far superior to these other two just because it's going to allow me to look at more information 
than these code scanners um, currently can, you know, like transmission codes and, you know, ABS codes, like I, like I discussed, which is actually what I need because I'm having that VDC error on this. Um, in about, in 600 miles, it hadn't done it since it changed the spark plugs. And then just the other day, I was just talking about how I just fixed the car and I didn't have to take it to the dealer and it all worked. And then it did that hesitation. And then 10 or 15 miles after that, it did it again. So that code scanner is going to come in handy, but I just want to kind of show you what was going on and uh, go over some things. Hope you're having a great week or two and I'll see you when I get better. Okay, so I just updated the uh, blue driver and I've already found three codes here, ABS codes. I've got C1106RR underscore LH underscore sensor 2. I've got battery voltage anomaly and I've got a steering angle sensor safe. So let's see if we can see. Uh, the steering angle is something I suspected. Let's see what the right rear sensor is. Assuming that's a wheel sensor. It doesn't really doesn't really tell me. Go to 1106. I'm going to have to look that up. It doesn't really tell me much, but see the codes. I didn't have that before. Let's see. Battery voltage abnormal. I guess that's because the battery is not in the best shape, but that's not going to cause that VDC or steering angle. Okay. Perform steering angle sensor initial initialization procedure, which is something I can't do. That's the top reported fix. Replace multifunction switch. Uh, replace brake switch, which is something that people have talked about. Perform wheel alignment. Two other fixes, recharge battery and replace clock spring assembly. That's interesting. So the blue driver identifies these codes that I didn't see before. So I have to look that up. The wheel sensor is something I might need to fix, but that's really interesting. Now it's got two codes up here too, two BCM codes, and these are just, you know, when it has had flat tires in the past. So that's really interesting. So I'm really pleased with this blue driver I just want to share with you.